What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. I apologize for my lack of videos last week. Just uh, I've been busy. Shop's been busy. You know, life got in the way. Life gets in the way every every so often. But uh, actually hired some new help at the shop. Kid seems pretty solid. So we'll get back into it. Um, but today we're gonna kick off a challenge. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so, you know, unless you've been living under a rock, you know, you guys obviously seen the YouTube challenges, you know, obviously, you know, eating soap and ice bucket challenge, things like that, um, but we're going to kick it up a notch. We're going to do the, uh, the used hot oil challenge. I got right here a bucket of used hot oil, and we're going to dump this on my head. Check it out. Just kidding. But I do got a challenge. I'm gonna, we're gonna kick off a uh, homemade tool challenge. So we all got those tools. You know, everybody, every mechanic's probably got that tool they got in their box that, you know, they made by hand or, you know, they built in the shop or at home or whatever because, you know, one, they didn't want to buy the tool because it's easier to make one or cheaper to make one or two, they don't make that tool so you invented your own tool. But uh, we're gonna show you guys how to make a uh, pretty cool memory saver. Check it out, show you the stuff I'm working with here. All right, guys. So this is everything I kind of dug out to, uh, to make this. This is gonna be the main part here, and it's pretty much just a DLC, you know, a blank DLC connector. You know, it comes with a couple screws. I'll, uh, I'll actually try to put a, uh, an Amazon link where to find these. This is the main portion of it. It's because we're gonna make the memory saver just plug into the uh, OBD2 connector. You know, and then supply it with uh, voltage while you're pulling the battery or whatever you need to use the memory saver for. But this is the main unit. We'll take it apart. I'll show you what's inside. And then I got just the random uh, electrical stuff. We are going to be making this with the uh, stuff that came in the tool heads crate for April. So putting these tools to use. I won't put any tools in the, in the crates that I won't personally use myself. And yes, I, uh, I use them. So we got all the stuff. We're going to use the soldering gun that came in the kit. We're going to use the crimpers, the little shears, got the solder, all that stuff, so ready to go. It's going to take care of it. And then I just got some, uh, you know, 14 gauge wire. We got some plugs because I got some pretty cool ideas. We're going to not only make a memory saver, but we're going to give it a JRC 54 twist to it too. So give me some options here. But set up the camera. We'll take this little thing apart and get at it. All right. So this little thing looks like it comes with some torques here, some T10s it looks like, two on each side. Get this thing opened. I had a couple of these. I, I actually used these for uh, when I used to work on these uh, the buses. I used these to connect to the uh, the ramps, make my own tools. But I had a couple ones that were still good, so we're gonna use this. four screws out and then this thing just opens up and you can see we got a blank pin and then our pins for this the pins that we're going to be using here I got a little printout so basically we're looking for the power and ground which would be pin 16 it's going to be your battery positive and then pin four is gonna be your chassis ground. Pin five is your signal ground. But those are the only ones we care about. Pin four and pin 16. So if you guys wanna know, make it yourself. Pause it. Here's your schematics for the DLC port. All right, and then these are numbered on here. Obviously you can see um, backwards, but one through eight and then 9 through 16 so we're looking for 16 and then 4 so plug the soldering iron in get our wires ready all right we're going to take our wires and this thing's got this little section here where you'll slip your wires through and then when you tighten it it holds the wires so they don't pull out so we'll get the wires all set and you guys can make them however long you want i want to get this pretty much on the longer side 
you never know where those DLC ports and depending on how you want to use this, whether you're going to use a jumper to keep power to it or we'll have some options. So be generous with the length here. Oh, that should be about good there. Let's use our little shears. strippers pretty nice strip these back all right we're gonna tin these bad boys pretty much power is gonna go to here probably cut these down a little bit too and then our negative is gonna go to pin four one, two, three, four. This one right here, the smaller one. Let's get our solder out. All right. This thing should be nice and warm. Oh. It's nice. It actually heated up pretty quick, too. That one tinned. Let's get this next one tinned. Tin the positive side. Soldering guys are pretty nice. My first time using it. All right, so I got my wires tinned. I'm just gonna drop them back a little bit here. Solder to the, uh, the DLC here. Positive on here. Do our negative. You guys have a shot in the frame here. All right. And that's pretty much that. That's all we're gonna need there. Got the negative on negative pin out and the positive on the positive pin out 16 and 4. So we'll pretty much just set this up. <clears throat> we'll run this through. Stuff the wires through, run that on down. Right there. I'll probably throw some tape on this too so it doesn't jump around in there. And we got our little end wire connector too. So it can bend without hurting the wire. Put that on there. Run that through. Like so, get it started. Just throw a little piece of tape on here. Try to keep it neat. Snap down in there, get the front on there. First you put this, this locks it in. So now those wires aren't gonna move. Top portion on. Put the screws back in. Right, so we got that nice and tight. And then you basically just tighten this up and what it does is it pinches down on these wires so they don't get pulled out, ripped out of there. So we got that nice and tight, and that's what it looks like so far. So we should have a good power and ground. We got our wires coming out. Move on to the next step. And this is what we're looking like so far. Get the other end. <coughs> And this is where the cool part comes in and you guys can kind of custom work this how you see fit but I'm gonna put in some options here for us and then on this end what we're gonna do is put a little uh, plug on it but 
you know, from here you guys could just put some bigger alligator clips on there and that's it. You know, memory saver is pretty much done. Just clip it to a battery and you're good to go. But what we're going to do is make this thing interchangeable to where there's different styles. You can get power from different ways. So I'll cut this back. And we're just going to solder these together. Make sure we got a good connection here. Probably throw some tape on there too. But now we got a quick connect on this end. <clears throat> so a DLC, long lead, and then a quick connect. That's the first portion all uh, wired up and done, soldered. Now we're gonna move on to the second one. All right guys, so this is where the accessory portion comes in. We still have this other side of the plug. So we can be able to you know, plug it in like that. So on this end, we're going to do some alligator clips so we could just hook up to, you know, any old battery or jump pack or whatever, you know, drag a battery over or hook it up to the new battery for memory saving or hook it up to a jump pack. So we're just going to put some alligator clips on it. Probably these, probably these big ones here. I got these little ones here. Just enough to fit around the battery post. Got that, get all my wires handy, ready to go. And then plugging it into here, you know, there'll be power going to this end when you first plug it in, so I want that to get protected touching metal. And when you plug it in, this section is gonna be your power lead. You get these sections soldered together now. Connector hooked in, soldered in. I just did a quick tape job holding everything together. And now I'm just gonna solder these uh, alligator clips on this side. All right, so that's one accessory down. Got this on this end, just the clips on this end. So basically you plug this into the DLC, plug this portion in. You can hook this up to a battery or a jump pack or whatever power source you're going to be using. Alright, so the next accessory on it is going to be for the 12 volt power source to plug it into. So if your jump pack's got a, uh, you know, I got this piece off of this thing I had, but if your jump pack's got one of these ports, a cigarette lighter port on it, you could just get your power from that. Plug it in, give you a 12 volt power source, then plug the DLC in and that'll be your power. So this will be an easy one instead of using the alligator clips you could just plug into the cigarette lighter or you could use it backwards and actually plug this into the cigarette lighter put power on this end with with the uh, alligator clips and that's how you could give power to the car too but we're using it through the DLC so this will be one of the accessories here just soldered them together here on a wire same length as the other ones plug it in and that's your power all right guys so for this last one I got last plug here what we're gonna do get a little creative here and uh, use these little guys and what these are for I don't know if you guys see the Milwaukee battery has been sitting in the background the whole video but 12 volt power source got a bunch of them better than lugging out a big battery or heavy jump pack or whatever however we do it this thing is lithium so we know it's tough got these little guys it right in there so we got a power and ground so what we're gonna do is take this and connect it to these so that way we got a 12 volt power source straight into the DLC connector that we made right there and there's your 12 volt power source we can use any Milwaukee battery or any battery with the slots like that or if you use D wallet or any kind of battery you use just put the connectors that fit you know or maybe tiny alligator clips and just clip the little metal one metal tabs that stick out just know which one's your power and negative and there's your 12 volt power source so all I'm gonna do is just cut these back crimp these on here tape them off we'll be good to go match up the yellow to the yellow 
go. Alright. Got that crimped. Just like put a little dot of solder here. So the wire doesn't work itself out of there. Get shoved in and out of the battery. There's that one. Clean the tip. So that's all three. All our accessories right here. Alright guys, so that's that. Quick uh, build your own memory saver, make your own tool challenge. You know, you know how I had to take it a step further and not just make a memory saver, but add accessories to it and all that jazz, you know, spin, get the JRC54 spin on it. So we got a variety here, you know, it's not just the uh, regular power source or hooking it up to the battery, but we can also, you know, use this connector. If you don't want to, if you don't want a memory save through the DLC connector, you could just use, you know, the cigarette lighter one, plug into the cigarette lighter and then just hook it up to the clamp style one, plug them in together, and then that could be your power source through the, the cigarette lighter, or you could even use the cigarette lighter one and then just hook it up to a Milwaukee battery, and that'll be your 12 volt memory saver so you don't have to always use a DLC, so you got options there. So, so I gotta keep the challenge going. You know, I'm gonna pass it on to my buddy, Rust Belt Mechanic. Let's see what you could come up with, buddy. Make your own tool, make a video on it, pass it on to the next guy. We'll see how far we can take this, but, that's the quick one, $12 memory saver, build it yourself. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll check you guys in the next one. Signing out.